Hello, I'm Yang Chen. Welcome back to another watercolor lesson. Today we're going to talk about background and how the background would help to enhance the main object. I'm going to use this bird to describe how we use the background to create different edges. How can we create the vignette effect in a watercolor painting? First, I'm going to use this small sable brush to do a little drawing of this bird. Okay, I'm just going to use this little gray color right here. That's good. Now let's see. Put the head of the bird right here and put the tail. How about the tail come down over here? If you're not comfortable with drawing a watercolor, use a graphite pencil to work on the composition before we start at uh, painting. Now I'm going to start from the head. I'm not going to make the head too dark. I find these colors are maybe a little bit lighter than this. So I try to uh, minimize the process. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to start on the top over here. Here you go. And looking at the back. And I think the feather over here should come up a little more. And now coming to the front over here, it has a little bit more red colors. Uh, let me tap a little this light brown color over here first. Now soften a little bit. Now what I want to do now, I'm going to get some uh, Windsor red. Now, here we go, like that. And going around the eye, just good. And also have some color and a little bit more red than yellow and right in here. Okay, like that. Now, let's continue under and have a little bit light red colors, uh, a little bit orange uh, red colors. And over here, just tap on it. Oh, this is good. Like that. Now I'm going to spend the time working into the mouth. And let's take a look. What's the color of the mouth? A little bit brown color. Like this is will be the good color. I'm going to paint it around like this first. Okay, good. Now take a look. Uh, look, observe before you paint. And under here, it have a bit soft transitions. And also at the bottom over here, you can see a little bit more red, a little bit warmer. Could be because of the reflected light from the warm feather underneath. Okay, now I'm going to have this a little bit graduate, turn to the other color over here too. Now this is good. Okay, now I'm going to get away from that. I'm going to get continue, make it this a little bit softer, coming down here like that. But I don't have to make them all flat and uh, close together. And now I'm going to tap on a little bit red color right underneath here, like that. So because it's wet, it's very easy, kind of fade away. Let's continue on this. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to coming down to the belly over here, a little bit more gray color. So I'm going to take this as will be perfect color for that. And here we go. So I'm also going to use the water, just the clean water, just have them a little bit softer because I feeling this color is pretty soft. It's not really standing out that much. That's good. Now it's great. Now I'm going to put some color to the branch. Yeah, let's put some bright color into that first like this. And then we're going to put a little bit darker colors uh, for the shadow side and also keep a little highlight for the crawl. Yeah. And then come through over here on the top. And maybe at this time I should, I'm going to leave that little gap. Otherwise this color may get into together. Now working into 
the shadow side now I mix with this darker color with basically adding some blue color into it so that's good at the bottom so when it's wet they're actually all kind of soft transition into each other that's good and put a little detail here to give a little suggestions so you see actually see through the lakes and let's see we're gonna start working on the lake now and get a little bit darker color uh, now we're going to go through that underneath this and now take a look and the legs have a little bit brownish color so this is perfect i'm going to take this color a little warmer like right here always observe before you uh, do something so otherwise it would look like too general so okay i'm going to keep that that a little that little highlight over there and there's another another crawl on the other side this looks good so okay over here there's another one lift the highlight that's good coming through here okay uh, maybe at this point I'll also give a little bit darker tone uh, for the a little warmer for here like for example a little darker tone over here a very darker line coming through that's good like that and over here too so we can come back to do a little more after you drive like that okay give a little bit sometimes we need the sharp edge we have to wait until it drive okay that's good we'll come back to do a little more on that now what we want to do we're gonna go into the head to give it some the indications for the eye let's take a look we can start with a little bit lighter color okay be a little careful uh, here is a little wet so you want to uh, get your hand off that wet space Okay, start from this corner, look first, like that, a little bit bigger, like this, that looks good. okay let's get a little bit brown colors because there's inside over here see a little bit more brown and i'm gonna leave the highlight in the eye okay that's good that's good for now let's take a look and we can apply a little details a little bit over here and at the bottom here a little bit darker and the tip over here after a little bit detail and that looks good under here have a little bit uh, brown color here so i'm gonna pick a little soft colors i'm gonna come into this side like that and what I want to do is just use the water have it uh, kind of softly transition so it looks like uh, a very thin soft hair 
and that actually looks good. So what I want to do now, and I'm going to give it a little bit um, details, a little bit darker colors somewhere to indicate the thickness of the hair. Like for example, there's a little bit over here. Like this. And I'm gonna have this soft gradually turn to a little bit lighter as you from inside turning to light. Like that. And a little bit red. So we can add to that details. Good. That needs to be a little bit um, brighter red. So I'm going to put a little brighter red right here. And on the top over here, now I can come back to give it a little bit more color. Like that's good. So the bird's are almost there. Now we come back over here, do a few thin line. Over here, for example, I do one like this. Good. A little bit on the back. When we talk about uh, use the background to enhance this, now we have to decide on where we want it to stand out a little more. I think we want the head stand out a little more. I don't want the belly to stand out that much. So what we can do to use the background to enhance the main objects. So now I'm going to get some yellow color with the blue color over here. And maybe not so bright. And I also want it a little bit darker. I want it a little bit darker. Uh, than the head. So the head would stand out. So we're gonna come down over here and give a little red color like this but may not be too much red because the head has quite a bit of red colors. So I want to have a little bit a bit um, kind of like a greenish colors up there. This is good. I need to use a big brush. Okay, now it's good. Now I'm gonna paint it around over here we can add more color to it as we go, if we want. Okay. So keep in mind the background colors only to enhance the, uh, the focal point that we want. Uh, the back's fine. Okay, now coming over here. Let's see, now coming down to the feather. And the feather over here, I'm going to just use a very light color. Uh, what color would be? I'm going to change that a little bit. Maybe a little bit blue. But light. So I'm going to get this color. And when I come down over here, and also help the feather. But when I come down over here, the color very close up to the feather color. So like this. And I'm going to just let this disappear from here. And now I'll come back over here, maybe over here, give a little bit soft uh, transition because I don't want that to stand out. Uh, uh, the texture of the, the background stand out too much. Give a little bit over here too. And now I'll come back to the head. We want to have that color, the background color, a bit darker. So I'm going to take this, just take this blue colors. Okay, one more. Paint it around, watch out for the edge. Okay. Now the head has the most contrast from the background. And also the chest, like this. 
uh, on top over here, I'm going to break this, uh, the, the hard edge and then on the outside. So I'm going to have this, just have the color, sweep it off like that. So the backgrounds only use it when we need it to enhance the, the focal point of the painting. So like uh, something over here, that here, we don't really need it. Put a little bit of water drop like this. So make the background also softer because the birds has already dried, the one affected. Now the painting's finished. I hope that you learned something from this lesson. If you like this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in our next lesson.